What is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we're looking at the best class for PvP PvE content for MU Origin 3 that just launched today. Subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, it is greatly appreciated. Our friends at LD Player are sponsoring this video. I'm going to show you why you should play MU Origin 3 on LD Player. Let's go! Play Android games on your PC using the LD Player emulator. Smooth gameplay and stable connection with the lowest amount of RAM you usage possible run multiple accounts at once for mmorpgs play two or three different mobile games at the same time and multiplayer makes re-rolling and gotcha games an absolute breeze make sure you go ahead and you download ld player for using my affiliate link down below all right so our three classes we have are the swordsman the mage and finally the archer now we're going to go over the main classes and then once you reach p4 which would be level 400 you go ahead and you have a choice between two subclasses for each main class so we're going to go all over that in this video the so first up we have the swordsman the king of melee combat and is proficient in both offense and defense more importantly the swordsman has high hp and high defense um, compared to the mage and the archer, the swordsman has the lowest DPS. And if we take a look at the two subclasses that you get to choose from, once you reach level 400, you have the fighter and the knight. The fighter is going to be your main critical damage dealer, kind of like a, a berserker kind of style. And then the knight is more if you want to be a straight tank. So you're going to have uh, more defense fighter class. You're basically going to sacrifice your high defense that you have as the main swordsman. And you're going to basically turn that into DPS. So you're going to be a melee damage dealer. Burst damage, high critical damage as well. The fighter class is one of the easiest classes to play in this game. And it has the number one advantage when it comes to PvP. So if you're looking for a class that is going to be strictly one of the top tier for PvP, choose the Swordsman. And then when you reach 400, choose the Fighter class. Now we go ahead and we're going to take a look at the Knight. Now the Knight uh, does have a bit more damage damage than the swordsman and you get the ability to use shields for damage reduction as well so if you're looking for someone with high survivability then you're going to go ahead and choose the knight all right now let's take a look at the mage class the mage class is the only one that has uh two different genders the swordsman and the archer are gender locked but for the mage you can choose a male or female gender the mage uses different elemental magic to defeat the enemies focusing mainly on high spell damage high dps but the downside to this is of course that the mage has a low health pool so basically think of it as a glass cannon style class high damage low health so because of this it's really important that you want to control the enemy and try and stay as far away from them as possible now our two subclasses we have are the magister and the forbidden mage so the magister focuses on continuous dps with area damage so aoe damage lots and lots of that and the forbidden mage is more focused on powerful spells and uh, really good control abilities so because of this the magister is going to be your best bet when it comes to pve content the magister has some ridiculous aoe abilities i mean they just hit like tons and tons of enemies at once and you just melt through mobs literally you can get through your dailies of just destroying monsters and grinding and then the forbidden mage is the class that focuses mostly on control type and arcane magic basically has the same amount of dps as the magister however the forbidden mage has really strong skills for pvp content arguably if you don't want to do a melee type of style then you would go with the forbidden mage as your second best bet for pvp content all right and finally my friends we've got the archer class this is going to be your long range dps physical damage type archer can move around a lot better than the mage whereas the mage is kind of slow doesn't have really movability uh kind of a sitting duck whereas the archer can get around a lot faster so because of that the archer can be a better class than the mage um but again it, it really depends on your level of skill 
Uh, if you are someone who is a very skilled player and you're able to really maneuver your character around, then you'll have a lot more success with the archer, uh, as the archer class is a bit harder to play than the other classes. All right, and our two subclasses that you get to choose from once you reach P4 are the Holy Archer, which focuses on magic DPS, support, and healing, and then the ranger which does fierce attacks agile and flexibility the holy archer does magic dps um, but more importantly think of the holy archer as like a supporting healing class so if you're someone who likes to be the healer in any mmo or whatever it may be then you're going to want to choose the holy archer because this is pretty much the only class that's uh, close to a, a true healer also arguably the best class when it comes to party play. and then finally we got the ranger now the ranger is kind of uh similar to like an assassin type profession it has the highest mobility out of all of the classes even higher mobility than just like the straight main archer it can can go back and forth between the forbidden mage or the ranger um they're both really strong classes for pvp again it would really have to depend on your play style um if you are a more skilled player then you will benefit more as the ranger when it comes to pvp content because you have that mobility however if you aren't someone who is as skilled um, if you choose the ranger class, then you may not see it as uh, being the second best in PvP. Then you would probably want to go more with something with the Forbidden Mage if you were uh, someone who wasn't as skilled or someone who was a bit newer to MMOs but still wanted to be very competitive in PvP content. Now that is it for today, folks. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video, my friends. I, uh, I did the giveaway and I got the codes in from LD player to give away. I spent on the community post um, of all the people who I picked as the winners. Um, I've only had one person actually get in touch with me, so I was only able to give one code out. So please, if you're watching this, go check the community tab on my channel because the list of the winners for the giveaway for MU Origin 3 uh, is on there. All you gotta do is leave your Discord on that post and I have all the codes, so I'm gonna try and get these codes out because I want you guys, you know, to benefit from this. I believe the codes are worth like $5 and it gives you a bunch of in-game rewards, but uh, yeah, stay happy, stay safe, my friends. Peace.